Hey guys, Stephanie Necessary with Daisy Clipper Farms here with some information about DuPont State Recreational Forest, which is a public use forest in North Carolina. It lies in between Hendersonville and Brevard. The uh, forest is a little over 10,000 acres and boasts over 86 miles of multi-use trails, including equestrian trails. While the park has quite a few parking areas, only two are horse trailer friendly. The first one I'm going to show you is Guian Farm, which is off of Sky Valley Road. After you hit the gravel, you'll go approximately seven tenths of a mile and the parking area will be up on your right. So this new setup has pull through trailer parking for horse trailers, as well as dump stations for manure. Very large, clearly marked equestrian only. So as you can see, this is a really large parking lot. Currently right now, they have two porta potties set up, but they are hopefully gonna be opening up this awesome new restroom soon which makes us absolutely top notch for equestrians. So if you're looking at the DuPont State Recreational Forest, and you can see it is in the upper right hand side off of Sky Valley Road. All right, so we are at Guin Farm right now. That's what I just showed you. The other trailer friendly parking area that's a little bit smaller, but more centrally located is Lake Imaging right here where I'm circling. So you can see Lake Imaging, the equestrian parking is a lot smaller, but it's great because it used to be a wide open spot and you'd get here with your trailer and there would be absolutely no place to park. However, I would say maybe in 2022, they added this fence and they added these blockers and they did dedicate a small area to horse trailers. I would say comfortably, you can probably get three trailers here and still be able to maneuver and get around. A lot smaller, no doubt, compared to Guillaume Farm. However, I do think that this particular lot is a lot more centrally located and easier to kind of maneuver around all of the trail system, but you need to hit it early and not on a weekend if you want to get a spot here. They do have a porta potty and a trailhead map up at the um, top there, which is where the trailhead itself is. So as I said earlier, there are over 86 miles of trails. Most of them are uh, labeled for equestrian use. However, none of them are equestrian only. You will share the trails with hikers, dogs, bikers, um, pretty much everything that you can imagine. Uh, they are very well-traveled trails. Trails are very well marked. There are wooden signs at every intersection. Uh, that clearly mark each trail. Trails are very well maintained, picked up after. You'll see very little trash uh, and everything is pretty well trimmed back. Uh, additionally, you'll have a mix of the wider trails along with some single track trails and some gravel roads. Some of the trails um, like Ridgeline, for example, are a trail that while it is multi-use, I would highly recommend that equestrians stay off of it. That is a trail that bikers come up and then it's got some great downhill um, embankments that they bank their bikes at high speeds on. Um, and I just, personal preference, don't think it's safe for equestrians. And if I was a biker and I'd work that hard to get to the top and enjoy that trail, I would want to be able to come down it at full speed and really enjoy it. Many of the well-trafficked areas, like this particular picnic area you're about to see, uh, has picnic tables as well as porta potties available. DuPont is filled with absolutely gorgeous sites, including several lakes, many waterfalls, and a covered bridge. So right near where Buck Forest and Conservation Road meet up is the 
infamous covered bridge at DuPont. Um, it's absolutely beautiful with the top view of the falls. And if you go through the bridge from where I'm at right now and then head over to the right, there is a gravel trail that will take you down to where you can get a view of the bottom of the falls. guys so I hear a lot of people say they don't want to ride DuPont because of the bikes and there is absolutely no doubt that there are a ton of bikes out here at DuPont and if you have a horse that is scared of bikes I can absolutely understand that concern but I will tell you right now I have run across hundreds and hundreds of bikers out here and they have been nothing but friendly, courteous, well-mannered, um, share the trails. It, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. So if that's your concern, as long as your horse is good with bikes, please don't let that deter you. This is such a beautiful spot to ride.